girl friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to be trying out unconventional products to see if they really work. This is paper makeup. It's from a variant called My Couture. So this is supposed to make makeup on the go and touch ups a breeze. And we got this through Shop and Box. So this was from the US of A. Try the bronzer first. It kind of feels a bit like very thin tracing paper. If you want to contour, you wrap it around your finger and like press it in because you can like get more product on this. There we go. Okay, do you see that? So now I have to blend this out. Now let me try it on the other side. Let's try this highlighter paper. For this, I'm going to try tearing it into half. So I'm going to apply this on the normal places that we put highlighter on. Now my nose bridge. Oh wow, that highlighter really, it's highlighting. It's super highlighty. So I'm going to put it here. This is a very subtle highlight. I'm not sure if it's evident on camera, but it's really pretty. Let me just show you on my hand. I'll just rub a bit harder so maybe you can see the highlighter colour. At the moment, I am liking the colours. I am surprised that they're not coming off as strong as they appear on the paper, which to me is a good thing because otherwise that's just way too much. Okay, let's try the last one, the blush. The blush, also same as highlighter, 10 and a half. Okay. Oh wow! That's really pretty! Oh, that's so gorgeous! So I think for makeup on the go, this is definitely a wonderful idea. In terms of application, it's actually not too difficult. Like once you get the hang of it, it's okay. I like it. I like it very much. I didn't think I would. <laughs> because I was like, what? It sounds so gimmicky. So I would give it a 10, but it is a bit on the pricey side. So for that, I'll give it a 9, but it's beautiful. This is a silicone light foundation puff that's been trending for a while because it doesn't absorb any foundation or any of your product and it's supposed to spread as well as a foundation puff. Thank you, Afro, for sending this over. Oh, this is cute. I thought the smiley face was on the <laughs> packet only, but no, it's on this. It's very nice to squish. Squish, 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 squish. I'm gonna try the one half of my face with liquid foundation first. Okay, uh, this is interesting. Oh, actually it's very smooth, you know. Oh my god, this is amazing. This spreads the foundation so well. You can feel like some parts pulling or sticking a little bit, but really not that much. Uh, compared to a beauty blender, I think that the finish is not as sheeny as a beauty blender. You will realise that this does look like foundation, but it doesn't give you that skin kind of texture. It's spreading it very evenly, and it's not leaving behind any streaks or any patches or anything. I have so much product left. Let's see how this performs with powder foundation. I'm not sure if anything is happening. Okay, okay, it's depositing powder for sure. So it works just like a normal foundation sponge. So I guess I should be happy about that. <laughs> because if I use a normal foundation sponge, it's still a normal foundation sponge. But then if I use this silicone magical sponge, it, it works the same. But when I wash it, I don't have to wait for it to dry. This doesn't absorb more product than it needs to. I would give this an amazing out of 10. Like just ridiculously amazing out of 10. I love you. Where have you been all my life? Guys, you don't understand. <laughs> I have so many brushes at home and because I'm a lazy little <laughs> they haven't been washed, so I have graduated through all my brushes and to now using my fingers because I haven't sat down to wash them. You know why you're smiling? Because you should be, because you are amazing. Oh, goodness. So this is a Twisty Tail Mascara. It's basically a wand that has three different effects. Oh, the mascara, by the way, is hidden behind all the buildings. So this is the normal setting. There's a twist. Oh, no way. Oh my god! Okay, so you twist it and it bends. And you twist it again and it bends some more. Okay, so we're gonna test it in the three settings. The first one is uh, the normal basic setting. So I guess you just use it as a regular mascara. I find the bristles a little bit short and they're not holding on to my lash that much. So it's a little bit hard to make sure that they're all coated. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it to the second setting. So this is supposed to give you longer lashes. You just sweep it from side to side. So for the right eye, I have used the setting that's meant for longer lashes. Now the left eye, I'm going to use the one for fuller lashes, which is fully bent. 
I was very surprised because when I turned it all the way to the third setting, it really did deposit more product than when it was on the second setting. It's fuller I guess in that sense because there's more product on it and the other one is a thinner coating but I have to say I'm not a big fan of the mascara formula like it feels a bit clumpy mm, it's okay I wouldn't mind keeping the wand for other mascaras because I can forgive the short bristles because it bends so I would give this maybe it's okay last six this is a steam silk hair pack and it's supposed to apparently give you a salon-like treatment for your hair in 15 minutes and at home. So now my hair is washed and towel dried, I'm going to put on the hair pack. It was relatively easy to put the hair in, I thought it was going to be a lot faster than that but actually it's okay. It's quite a lot of product but it was on this part of the pouch so I've got to get it out of there and make sure it gets into my hair. So now I'm supposed to leave this on for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm about to take this thing off to wash it. It has been a rather underwhelming experience so far. <laughs> because you see here, it says, don't be surprised by the sudden hot steam on your head. Still waiting. Coal, 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 coal. Coal. Okay, never mind. Let's go wash this off and see what happens. It was okay, it was alright. Like the effect I feel was kind of like a regular conditioner. So it's okay as a regular conditioner, but as a home salon treatment steam mask, four, actually even three, because it didn't even steam. It didn't even steam and it wasn't even hot and it's like a regular conditioner, it's not like extra nourishing or anything. So okay, like three, three. Yeah. <laughs> Zero is a bit harsh, right? <laughs> So we all know that lip tints and lip stains can be really hard to remove because they're meant to stay for a really long time. This product is a lip tint eraser and it's made specially for removing these lip stains. Here we have two different types of lip stains. We have lip tint and this is the lip stain tattoo. I'm going to put both these lip stains on both my hands. The so right hand I'm going to remove with a lip tint eraser and the left hand I'm going to remove with makeup remover. Okay, so now it's dry. Now I'm going to try with regular makeup remover on my left hand. Peel off stain is not moving. So some of it has come off, but a lot of it remains. So the product is good. <laughs> okay, let's try with the lip tint eraser. Okay, it's uh, taking off the peel off stain quite well. The lip tint is also budging a little bit, but the peel off stain is like almost all gone. Now let's rinse this off. Have a look at the results. On the left hand, we use makeup remover and there's barely a difference in the stain at all. On the right hand, we use the lip tint eraser. For the lip tint eraser, I was hoping that it would be more effective. So I guess for that, I've got to give that like an 8 out of 10. I'm hoping to find a product that does a 10 out of 10. So this is a lip top coat from NYX and it's supposed to change any light lip colour into a deep vampy shade. I like the sound of this already. It feels more like a balm kind of texture. Okay, let me try this with a bright red. It's really changed it into a darker red. So, that gives me two colours in just one lipstick, which I really like. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a pink shade now. Right now, I feel like this colour looks slightly corpsey. So I think this, it works great if you have like really bright, intense colours, but muted tones, I think it doesn't perform as well. So I would give this like a 9 for bright colours, 3 for muted colours. The application is really easy, it's kind of like using a balm and I found that going back and forth and making sure it kind of mixes into the lip colour really helps to make it look more even. If you just do a one swipe over it, you can see the two layers, they don't really, mm, they don't really melt together. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. Download the app. What app? The Click Network app because you can watch the videos one month before they go onto YouTube. You won't regret it, it's amazing. Okay, till next time. Go be beautiful.